Here's a great quote from Bruce Lee, which I think very much applies to insomnia treatment. And this is true, I think, in all stages of people's insomnia treatment. So when people are at that kind of stage where they're completely at loss with their insomnia, where they're still trying the supplements, the kiwi fruits, the warm baths, uh, they're always on the lookout for that next thing which is going to fix their insomnia. So that didn't work, let me try this, let me try this, let me try this, let me try my sleep hygiene, let me have my bedroom completely perfect. They're trying a thousand things and it just creates more obsession, more anxiety, more worried because they're always on the lookout, that next thing around the corner which is going to be that one thing which is going to fix their sleep. And when they eventually stumble across this program or these videos with these fantastic behavioral changes which do actually work, so the sleep window where I reduce your sleep opportunity to rebuild your pattern of sleep, uh, the thought pattern and changes that I do in order to bring down the anxiety, the worry, the stress around it. I have a counter or stimulus control where I help prevent the rumination and the race in mind at night time. Often people start seeing fantastic results and they start seeing them quite quickly. And they think, well, okay, so if this is working, what else can I do in order to speed things up? So I used to be sleeping, spending, you know, nine hours in bed and sleeping for four or five hours. Now I've reduced my time in bed and my time in, uh, that I'm sleeping is now at six hours. It's a massive improvement. But how can I speed things up? What can I do to get seven hours of sleep? Because that's my end goal. And what thought pattern changes can you tell me that's going to fix my insomnia as well? So I'm already doing the momentum method. I'm already doing the thought record. This is all fantastic. But if that's working well, what else can I do? You know, please give me more. Give me more. I want 10 different uh, thought pattern changes. I want 10 different behavioral changes that I can do. And often this can actually reinforce their insomnia. It can reinforce the struggle. It can reinforce the idea that insomnia is something that you have to force and something that you have to control. And I really just like to ask people, you know, what a good sleeper's doing to make them sleep? And what would they say if you were to ask them? And of course they're gonna say, well, I, I don't do anything at all, I do nothing. I mean, that doesn't tend to be actually true. What they tend to do is wake up uh, about the same time every single day, go to bed when they're sleepy, and they just don't worry and don't obsess and don't do anything at all to try and sleep. And so, if you're always looking for more things to do, more things to to improve the process, speed up the process, it kind of misses the point of what the insomnia treatment is. The insomnia treatment is to help you completely let go of your sleep entirely. So yeah, I've probably got a toolbox of a hundred different things that I can use to help people with their insomnia change their thought patterns around it. But often I'll just give people one or two or a few of these things and just ask them to do them with repetition, with consistency. Give them time, give them repetition and just do them over and over again. So like Bruce Lee said, I fear the man who's practiced one kick a thousand times and that's what I want people to do. Repetition, consistency, because the less things I get people to actually do, when they transition towards being a good sleeper, the less they have to let go of, so it's a far easier progression towards that, if that makes sense. So if you're in the stage where you're watching my videos, you're doing my program, and you've got that mindset of how can I speed up? What can I do more? Shall I do more? Shall I watch more? Shall I try and do this program perfectly and just do everything that Joe is saying? really get that understanding, what's the end goal? Complete detachment, complete removal from my sleep, completely letting go of it. So is less more in order to achieve that goal? And in all cases, it almost certainly is. So do less, do far, far less, and you'll find that with time, repetition, consistency, you'll be through of your insomnia. There is no magic trick, there is no magic potion. There is just habit building, there's behavior building, and there's that slow untangling of your thought patterns, which can only happen over time. So rather than doing a thousand things, 
poorly, choose a few things that you know work and do them as well as you can. All right, I hope this video is helpful and sleepdisease.com for more of my work and I'll see you on the next video.